Today, we're going to show you how to create a custom WordPress login page to improve your registered user's experience and use it to promote sales or provide links to other pages on your site. So you might be wondering how you can use your own logo and design to make your users feel more at home. Well, stick around and we're going to show you how. And be sure to check out the links that we've left in the description. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and be part of the conversation. So here's what's coming up in this video. First, we're going to take a quick look at some examples of custom WordPress login pages. And we're going to show you how to create custom login pages using the My Login, WP Forms, and SeedProd. And then we're going to look at how you can change your login logo and URL using a plugin and how you can do that without using a plugin. So let's dive right in and take a quick look at five sites that are using custom login pages as examples of things that you can do. WP Forms is the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market, and it includes beautiful login and registration forms. Now here they're using a two-column layout to display their login form in the left column and in the right column to highlight promotions and other call to actions. Now you'll notice that they're using custom branding, a background illustration, and their brand colors to create a unique login experience. Now next is Rock by Weddings website. They're using a pop-up modal to display login and registration forms, and that allows users to log in without leaving the page, and that makes for a much faster user experience. Jacqueline Steve's site is an art and crafts website, and the author publishes content about home decorating, quilt making, embroidery, and related topics. Now, this login page uses a custom background image that matches the website's theme, and it displays her login form on the right. Church Motion Graphics is a motion graphic design company that uses a colorful background and a simple dark login form. And they're using the same site header, footer, and navigation menus, just like they do on other pages on their site. Now, the last one we'll look at is MIT Sloan Management Review. Now, here, this website is using the default WordPress login screen. But they're also using custom CSS to hide the default WordPress logo and replace it with their own branding. Now, as we continue with this video, just keep in mind that we're going to be installing some plugins. So if you need a little help installing WordPress plugins, just be sure to visit the link in the description to the article on how to install a WordPress plugin, and it'll walk you through the process step by step. First, we're going to look at Theme My Login. Theme My Login is a free plugin that changes your login page to match your WordPress theme. Now, keep in mind, it's not very customizable, but still, it will replace the WordPress branded login page, and it'll look a bit more professional. Now, once you install and activate the Theme My Login plugin, it'll automatically create URLs for your custom login, logout, registration, forgot password, and reset password actions. To customize your login page URL, just head over to your admin sidebar and then hover your mouse over Theme My Login and then click on General. Then scroll down to the Slugs section to edit the URLs. Theme My Login also allows you to use shortcodes to create custom login and registration pages for each of these actions. And then you can add the page slug here so that the plugin can find and then redirect users to the proper page. Now to do that, just head over to your admin sidebar and click on page and then click add new. Next, you'll need to give your page a title and then enter the following shortcode inside the content area. Now you can publish your page and preview it to see your custom login page in action. And of course, you can repeat this process to create other pages by using the register lost password and reset password shortcodes. WP Forms is a premium WordPress plugin, so you'll need at least their pro plan to access the user registration add-on. Now, once you've purchased, installed, and activated the WP Forms plugin, you'll need to go to your admin sidebar. And then hover your mouse over WP Forms and click on Settings and enter your license key. You can find your license key in your account area on the WP Forms website. Now, after you've entered your license key, you can install the add-ons. Now, to do that, just go to your admin sidebar and then under WP Forms, click on Add-ons and then find the User Registration Add-on. Next, click on the Install Add-on button to download and activate it. Okay, so to get started creating your own custom login form, just go to WP Forms and then click on Add New and scroll down to the User Login Form Template and then click on the Create a User Login Form button to continue. Now, WP Forms is going to load the User Login Form along with the required fields. Now, you can click on the fields to add your own description or text, and you can change other settings as well. So, for example, you can change the text on the Submit button to read Login instead. And you can decide what happens once a user successfully logs in, too. Now, to do that, you'll need to go to Settings, 
and then to the confirmation tab. And there you'll need to select an action. So you can redirect a user to any other URL, redirect them to the home page, or show them a message that they're now logged in. Once you're satisfied with the form settings, just click on the Save button at the top right corner of the screen and close the form builder. You can easily add your custom WP forms to any WordPress post or page. All you have to do is edit the page or create a new one and add your form. Now on the page edit screen, add the WP forms block to your content area. Next, you'll need to select the login form that you created and the WP forms block will automatically load inside the content area. Then you can continue editing the login page or save and publish your changes. Now, before we move on, it's important to note that by default, your WordPress installation is going to display your theme's page templates, styles, and your theme's navigation menus, header, footer, and sidebar widgets. Now, this can all be completely customized using a WordPress page builder, but we're not going to be covering page builder plugins in this video. But we do have a great list of the best drag and drop WordPress page builders. So we'll leave a link in the description. Seedprod is beginner friendly and it offers a drag and drop builder to help you create all kinds of pages like landing pages, login pages, coming soon, maintenance mode, and other pages. Now we're going to use Seedprod Pro version in this video because it includes a login page template and advanced page blocks for customization. You can get the free version of Seedprod, but it doesn't include the option to create the login page for your WordPress site. Now to get started building a custom login page with Seedprod Pro, you'll first need to install the Seedprod plugin on your site. Now once you've installed and activated the plugin, you'll be redirected to Seedprod in your WordPress admin area. Next, you'll need to enter your license key from your Seedprod account. Now once you've entered the key, just click the Verify Key button and you're ready to start creating your login page. So to start, just head over to your admin sidebar and then hover your mouse over Seedprod and then click Pages. Then select the Login Page option by clicking the Set up a Login Page button. On the next page, you'll need to select a template for your login page. Now there's also an option to create a page from scratch using the blank template, but we won't be covering that in this video. We suggest that you use a template. It's easier, faster, and it's designed by experts. And once you've chosen the one you want, it's super easy to customize. Now, when you select a template, a pop-up window is going to appear to enter a page name, and Seedprod will use the page name as the URL for your landing page. Then click the Save and Start Editing the Page button. Now, under the Design tab, you can begin editing using the Drag and Drop Builder by simply dragging it from the left menu and placing it anywhere on the page. So, for example, you can add some text to your login page, a video, or add a new button. And you can add a countdown timer, social sharing icons, and a whole lot more. Plus, you can even remove existing page blocks in the template. Now, to do that, just click the trash can icon to delete the block. Next, if you click on any section on the login page, you'll see more options for customization. So, for instance, you can change the text and the color of the fields, choose a different font, edit the button's color, and more. Now, once you're happy with the login page's design, you'll want to click on the Connect tab at the top. Now, that's going to allow you to connect to different email marketing services like Constant Contact, Drip, Send in Blue, and more. And after that, you'll want to head over to the Page Settings tab. Now, under the General Settings, you can add the page title and change the page status from Draft to Publish. And you can also select the option to use Seedprod Link and add your Seedprod Affiliate Link to make even more money online. Now, if you'd like to optimize your login page for search engines, you can go over to the SEO settings and add an SEO title and description for your page and choose a favicon and your social media thumbnails. If instead you'd like your login page not to be indexed and ranked by search engines, then you can choose the no index option. Now, after that, you can also add different code snippets to your login page under the script settings. Now that you've changed the page settings, go ahead and click the save button at the top. Next, you'll want to make sure that your login page is active. So to do that, you'll need to exit the landing page builder and then go to your admin sidebar, hover your mouse over Seedprod, and then click Pages. Then move the status switch from inactive to active. Now you can go to the URL of your login page and see it in action. If WordPress page builder plugins are not your thing, well, you can use custom CSS to style the form and the login page itself. As an alternative, you can also use the CSS Hero plugin to add custom CSS styles easily. So let's take a minute and look at how to change the WordPress login logo and URL. 
To change your WordPress login logo and URL using a plugin, you'll need to install and activate the ColorLive Login Customizer plugin. Now, once you've activated the plugin, you'll see a new menu labeled Login Customizer in your WordPress admin sidebar. So click on that and it's going to launch the Login Customizer. The Login Customizer will load your default WordPress login screen with customization options on the left and the live preview on the right. Now to replace the WordPress logo with your own, click on the Logo Option tab on the right. Now from here, you can hide the WordPress logo, upload your own custom logo, and change the logo URL and the text. You can also customize the default WordPress login page completely and add columns, background images, change login form colors, and more. Basically, you can create a custom WordPress login page without changing the default WordPress login URL. Now, once you're done, just click on the Publish button to save your changes. And now you can visit the WordPress login page to see your custom login form in action. Now we're going to look at how you can change a WordPress login logo and URL without a plugin. So we're going to be using code. So this is definitely not beginner friendly. To get started, you'll need to upload your custom logo to your media library. Once you've uploaded the image, click on the edit link next to it. That'll open the edit media page where you'll need to copy the file URL and paste it into a blank text file like Notepad on your computer desktop. Next, you'll need to add the following code to your themes functions, PHP file, or a site-specific plugin. Now you can grab this code from our post, How to Create a Custom WordPress Login Page Ultimate Guide, and we're going to leave a link to that in the description. Now, don't forget to replace the background image URL with a file URL that you copied earlier. And you can also adjust other CSS properties to match your custom logo image. Now, keep in mind that that code only replaces the logo, so it doesn't change the logo link that points to WordPress.org. So to change that, you'll need to add the following code to your themes function, PHP file, or site-specific plugin. Now, don't forget to replace the, your site name and info with your site's actual name. The custom logo on your logo screen will now point to your site's home page. Be sure to save your changes after you're done. Now, we hope this video has helped you to learn different ways to create a WordPress login page for your website, and you'll also want to check out the links in the description to the Ultimate WordPress Security Guide for tips on improving your WordPress login security and a comparison of the best live chat software for small businesses. And while you're here, don't miss the opportunity to get a special discount on Monster Insights, so be sure to check out the discount link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just be sure to click one of the videos on your screen now.